What do I have to say to this? Is about so amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show Ty Smith. What is the dealio for the world? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you have been following my channel for a while and you have forgotten to subscribe, double check to make sure that you have done that. And if you are someone that's fairly new to the channel and kind of filling it out, I uh, would encourage you to check out my whole channel in its entirety. Go to playlist. When you go to playlist, you will see a bunch of different video titles and things like that that I do, different subjects that I hit on. And um, after you've done that, then subscribe to the channel so you can see what my channel is about in its entirety, all right? <clears throat> and videos like this, I will appreciate it that, you know, towards the middle of it, that you just don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like the information that I am putting out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to run this clip by you guys and uh, we will go from there. I heard that, right? I got something for you. Well, guess what? That witness has something for them. And several times it said several times. Now, let me get something straight here amongst my Christian brothers and sisters who I'm just being real and I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or nothing like that. You are doing nothing differently than what the people who claim to stand up for black people with the virtue signaling and this fake virtue signaling. When you come to me, Ty, I don't understand how um, you would say that you're a Christian, but you approve of killing. Have y'all, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure something out here. Have y'all not read the Bible? I'm not trying to be mean or rude. Have y'all not read that Bible? Who sat there and slain a giant? That was who? David. And then did, not only did he slain him with a rock, but he cut his head off. Okay? He cut his head off. Then, if you want to read further on, which they don't, put a lot of emphasis on David went on to kill Goliath's like whole family of giants killed them. Did the children of Israel not kill? Did you not read that story? And God brought them out of Egypt water. You know that part of the waters and all that. Did you not read further on what most of them did? Most of them had to kill people in their own camp too. They drew the line. You're going to be with God. Or you're going to be for the false worship of false uh, idols. They had to kill. They warred. Most of them were warring with another uh, group of people. Remember, he had to hold the staff up when it's, whenever he was getting tired, seeing that the people were losing. Then he came, somebody came, somebody wanted, someone came and helped them hold it up. Remember who that was to help hold him up? And then they started winning, fighting. Did you forget about that? So when you come and say things like, well, you know, you're not supposed to kill. That's what I tell people. When God wrote those 10 commandments to Moses, it said, thou shalt not kill. Why after that, most of them still went on and killed? You said difference between going and murdering somebody with no reason or anything like that versus defending yourself and fighting for a cause of freedom that's supposed to be for the good of everyone against evil. Whenever they fought, they fought against evil. Someone who is trying to kill you and your family, that is evil. If you defend yourself and kill them, that is complete righteousness, plain and simple. Some of y'all need to go and reread that Bible because you're missing a whole lot of details in there. So I'm just, I don't want to throw that out there because I get a lot of people that, I just don't like the part where you, you just said you, you know, you have a gun and you will kill. You darn right I will. You're going to sit there, you're going to get your head cut off still. You're going to get killed. Ladies and gentlemen, Christians get killed. Christians get cancer. Christians get tuberculosis. Christians get cystic fibrosis. Christians get diabetes. They get hypertension. They get all of these things. Y'all do know that, right? They die from various elements. You do know that, right? They die from being killed. Christians get raped. They get tortured. All those things happen to Christians like they would to any other regular person. So you can go on and say all this stuff about, I'm not going to kill. Well, okay, we'll get killed. And when you get there, tell Jesus, I said, hey, I'm just saying. So anyway, another good story. Seriously, all y'all should be putting that in. Y'all should be putting the hand claps in the, in the, in the live chat right now. Because major kudos to this witness right here. Another law-abiding citizen. I told y'all that's why I love about Missouri is the fact 
when they pass that to where you can just carry concealed, you don't have to have no permit or anything like this. I don't know this individual situation, but the point is they saved another life and potentially other lives, period. And now they found out that this suspect actually went and did other robberies throughout different places, robbing different places. But y'all heard the slogan. Y'all heard it before. I know. And I know y'all going to say it. Some people, after hearing that news segment right there, you probably already commented and said, never bring a knife to a gunfight, right? Yeah, totally get that. Now, I told y'all, I said, if something like this was to happen, somebody entered my home, you got to get the peanut butter. I said, I'm not going to go, hey, and then you come at me and I'm going to shoot you one time. Now, don't you move again. I told you I'm unloading that clip. I'm pop, 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 and then I'm dropping it and picking the other one back in there, clipping it. Um, yeah, I'm, and yeah. So when they say that this individual, this witness, this hero, this hero shot the suspect several times, kudos. Ding, 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 ding. Kudos. Well, Ty, why would you want somebody to duck? Man, y'all are completely losing it. Seriously, you are in a nation right now that was won by the very thing you're saying we should not do if somebody's trying to be tyrannical, evil, take over us, put us in slave, slavery. You're trying to say, well, we should just sit back and just wait. No, the Lord gonna say, okay, I, 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 there's a reason why I gave you these skills. There's a reason why I taught, there's a reason why there were swords. Did y'all not know there were swords and shields back in the Bible days? Heck, there was a slingshot. Heck, and as hard as David hit Goliath with that rock, that sucker had to be almost equivalent of a bullet. <laughs> you know? I'm just saying, anyway, this right here is excellent news. This is great news. This is wonderful news that we, the people, are showing that we are pissed off. We done with the evil. Criminals, I hope y'all are paying attention. I hope y'all are playing, paying close attention because people are done with evil. Y'all, and I hope Americans, my brothers and sisters, my fellow brothers and sisters in America, I hope y'all continue to be diligent in this. I hope y'all continue to have y'all radar up to be ready for any time, anywhere, any second, because it can happen anywhere. Like we just saw with Indiana, the video I just did a while ago, and this video right here in particular. Americans definitely need to be on alert. Americans definitely need to be watching out for our fellow brothers and sisters. You definitely need to be paying attention. I don't care where you are. If you think you had a recital for ballet, still be on the lookout because you don't know who in there might be doing something. Now, people, well, I don't want to be in fear. That's, showing, that's not showing fear. That's showing concern. Right now, if evil want to keep on rearing this ugly head, then guess what? Like whack-a-mole, you better start trying to bash it every time it pokes it up so they can duck back down. That's the whole point of whack-a-mole. The, the whole point of whack-a-mole is to whack the mole's head when it rears its ugly head. So when evil rears its ugly head, I hope that you are in a mold with inside your mind that you're ready to try to smash it as soon as it pops its head back up. And if you miss, good. Want to know why? Because when you don't hit the mole, why, why didn't you hit the mole? In whack-a-mole, why did you miss the mole? You would say because it dropped back down or it disappeared. It went away. That's exactly what we need to do. If you don't hit that mole, at least it went away before you can get to it. That's the mindset we all need to be in, period. There is a, I told y'all, you're only going to push people so far. I told y'all, you're going to hear about these backwood people that you never thought about down there in the South or whatever like that, that was not bothering nobody. They're sitting there living their life in the country, whatever like that. And now you want to come, you're going to see who the real patriots of America is. You're going to see who the real righteous people are of this nation is the ones that stand up against evil. And it's gonna show, and I hope and pray that I continue to get stories just like this right here. So I can keep on pushing it out and show our American citizens that there is good out there that's fighting against this evil. And you should not feel bad about standing up for this country, standing up for this nation, standing up for righteousness and truth. You should not feel bad about killing evil, period. Several times they said he got shot. Yes, I'm praising them doing that to evil because you don't have to sit there and compromise with evil. Neutralize it just like this person did right here. Get mad at me. Come at me. I do not care because guess what? 
you are so focused on the fact that a life was lost by a, an American citizen who stood up for righteousness versus not thinking about how many lives were saved by what this person did right here. Well, the gunman, we don't know that he had mental illness. I mean, we just don't know. I mean, the gunman might have had problems. I mean, he needed money. He needed money. That's the only reason why he had a backpack that he just wanted them to put snacks in. They just told, dude, are you serious? It does not matter. You had a knife. You grabbed the person, had a knife to them. You deserve, you deserve to get yourself shot. And then you came at the, you came at the witness. So I'm not saying that this is what it is, but I wouldn't be surprised if the witness was a woman. Because unless this dude was completely crazy, it was a woman or this 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 uh this suspect. Either it was a woman that stood up against him, or it might have been like a type of man that he just felt wasn't a threat to him, so he felt he can come at this man some kind of type of way. He might look at this man, maybe it was a little small, frail man. I don't know, but I'm just kind of throwing something out there, kind of making some guesses right here. Just saying, folks. No matter what, quit focusing on the fact that these evil people are losing their lives and you got these other crazy idiotic folks out there marching for these evil people versus the lives that were saved the snipers in minneapolis i know it was a six-hour standoff did what they needed to do in indiana the would-be crazy massacre worse than what it was got saved by an, a civilian righteousness this individual life ended doing wrong. It was ended by an American law abiding citizen. Truth, righteousness was completely on top of these three incidents right here. The 93 year old man that shot would be robber in his house and killed him and held the other ones at gunpoint. That's the American we need to talk about. Those, if you, can you imagine if stories like this got pushed out all the time? It's going to encourage other Americans to stand up and want to do the right thing versus going around. They want us to walk around being scared. Don't walk around being scared. Walk around being ready, period. Man, I love stories like this, and I hope I get more of them. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what y'all think of this. Don't forget to leave your comment down below. Don't forget to click this thumbs up button right now so the video can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm. Really appreciate it if you did it. Don't forget to tell others about this channel. I don't care who it is. Just say, hey, you need to check out this dude's channel. Matter of fact, check out this video right here. Send it to them because there are people that are on the same wavelength. I am helping individuals be encouraged and wake up and stand up for this country that we love. And you see that we the people. That's what it's about. We it's you and me. Black, white, red, yellow, orange, pink, African, African. I'm talking about Africans from Africa, Africans, Indians, Asians, no matter what. If you are an American citizen, plain and simple. This is what we are, is we, is we the people. There is no color in this, it's just us. And what we are standing up against is that which is evil, plain and simple. And that which is evil comes in all kinds of different shades and all kinds of different colors. It does not matter. Don't let them get you caught up in color because we the people, we don't care about color. We care about keeping this country safe, period. That's what we care about, whether it is domestically or whether it's foreign. It is our duty to keep our country safe. And that's exactly what we need to continue to do. Because why? We the people are pissed off and it's going to continue to show. Criminals, I hope y'all keep your eyes open. Because guess what? You don't know who's going to be packing. And then your life is going to be lacking. <laughs> yeah, I said that. I am Ty Smith, model renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter, but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it, keep on supporting it, and God bless you all.